directly looking at a general ledger example. So if I click on under reports, general ledger, and we'll maximize this full screen as well. So like the sales, this is kind of very similar. We kind of created some different tabs. Again, this is another sample report that we would, um, once the models are in place, we'd map this over your data. Um, so you would actually get something, and, and it would be tailored. So you know, instead of seeing, you know, if you don't analyze your your growth, you know, your your information by region, uh, maybe we make this by business segment or division or, or whatever. Um, so that's where we, we just change all the slicers and all the elements there. So here's a real quick synopsis of maybe all of our key metrics around the P&L revenue, gross profit, net income, and expenses. Look at just the Western region. We can kind of see how West is looking. How are they looking for just computing? Again, it's kind of giving us a quick way to filter down. So a lot of times, you know, if the and this is people in finance, they're used to seeing traditional operating statements like income statements and balance sheets. Um, you know, you, to get a whole company's view of the data it might be you know 500 pages of reports. And with this, with the dynamic nature of the slicers. It can give you not only a visual look at that same information, but also by three clicks, getting from you know knowing what was on page 187 of a 500-page report. So uh, another way to kind of look at doing some financial month-end uh, analysis. Here we click on our key metrics tab, and now we can kind of see some KPIs. We're comparing current value year-to-date for the period compared to our our budget um, or prior year. Um, so we can see that for revenue or gross profit percent, gross profit, net income. You can also maybe you want to look at just analyzing revenue by itself. You can do gauges, um, and then the same tabs in the net income and gross profit, um, geography, just like we saw in the sales example. Um, but you also can do, if you want to do some high-level type P&Ls here as well. So you can still do that. So if I click on the income statement consolidated, we've got here revenue, cost, sales, gross profit. So you know, again, the way that these types of reports work is they're kind of have nested summary levels. So revenue and cost summarized to gross profit or net out to gross profit. You get SG&A, income from operations, and depreciation, other expense, income before taxes, and then taxes, net income. So um, here's an example where we've got kind of a high-level P&L, and we've got the, the actual amount. Um, budget and variance for year to date. If I click on this, it'll be now calculating quarter to date on the fly. If I want to look at just home appliances, you can see how the, the P&L for home appliances and how they're uh, responding. We click on the next tab, which is looking at consolidating view. We'll keep the same row structure, but maybe we want to see this as different divisions as our different columns. Um, you can also go in as we, we've done, um, if I wanted to, let's say, add this, and so within each Revenue, I want to see my breakdown of division, same thing with costs and gross profit. So if we go ahead and go back into edit mode here, and we'll duplicate this tab, and this is where we can kind of see, like this would be maybe our, I'm going to call this our IS by division. Okay. And if I click on this, this tab here, or this data table, We'll go up, find our business unit, find our cat code for division. Just drag division right there underneath the row level one. And now you'll see, because I'm filtered on home appliances, get rid of that. And now we'll see, in essence, revenue that's broken down by the different divisions, cost, gross profit. So by just dragging elements in the canvas, again, you can kind of get, um, you know, it might take, you know, three weeks to get a response from IT. You can now do by drag and dropping elements um, on your own. The other thing to, to point out here on the financials is on the right-hand side, we've got these different calculations. So we do blend with our financial analysis the general ledger balances and detail together. So from any of these reports or pivot tables or visuals, you could drill down from the highest level consolidated values down to the asset, the document number, the explanation, the remark, the document type, the invoice, supplier invoice, the GL date. So it's not like you can only analyze the, the high-level data. These go all again all the way from the consolidated P&Ls down to the, the transaction level uh, analysis. Uh, we also have things like the account, um, and we have the different 
and the category codes. We have these different hierarchy levels already built in for the account hierarchies, balance sheet hierarchies, income statement hierarchies, um, and so forth. And again, back to the, I should have spent more time there. We have the pre-canned calculations for the actual amount, inception to date, month to date, quarter to date, year to date, total year, for prior periods, prior year, units, budget amounts, gross profit, revenue, net income. So some of those key metric type values. This is where we kind of built out all these hundreds of calcs that um, you know don't come out of the box with JD Edwards or a BI tool. You kind of have to build out this metadata. And that's one thing that's part of our deliverables is just exactly that.